Checking the focus. Looks good, I reckon. Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Those of you who work with metal productions have most likely heard the term harsh guitars. It's not uncommon in online training academies to teach fixing harsh guitars typically by means of a bit of a reduction somewhere in the 4K region. This typically leads to a newcomer grabbing whatever EQ they have available, specifically targeting exactly 4K and reducing the frequency by an arbitrary amount. It takes some time and experience to train one's ears to be able to hear minor changes in sound, which will lead to making more intelligent EQ choices in the future. A technique that some use to target problem areas is frequency sweeping. Today I'll show you how I target problem frequencies in my productions and correct them in Reaper. Let's take a look. The project I've got open is my cover of Spoiled by Basement. This is still a work in progress and the vocals haven't been recorded yet. Let's take a listen to work in progress, then we'll work with a few different EQs and show you how to clean up the guitars. I'd like to take a closer look at this last section before the outro. I've got my region selected and I'll turn on repeat so we can focus on this area. I'll also solo the guitars for a moment. And let's take a look at my effects chain. My current active plugins are the British channel from IK Multimedia. This is an SSL style channel strip. And we can see that I'm filtering everything below 100 Hz and 14K. I'm also reducing about 6 dB at 127 Hz. This is to help make room for the bass. I'm also doing a little bit of boosting in some of the mids to help bring the guitars more forward. Up next I have IK Multimedia's Quad Compressor. This is a multi-band compressor and I'm simply using this to help to reduce some of the low end frequencies during parts where there's palm muting. After this I've got another EQ that I'm using to help further shape the sound. But even with this EQ work I still have a bit of harshness. As I said in the intro, a common technique that's used to pinpoint problem areas is frequency sweeping. If you're not familiar with frequency sweeping, let me demonstrate. I'll add another instance of re-EQ. And I'll play this portion of music and boost a frequency with a narrow band and listen. I'll take band 3, boost it a few dB, narrow the scope, and let's listen. While that can definitely be helpful in finding your problem areas, I would counter that argument with, I can boost any frequency and it'll sound pretty obnoxious when boosted that narrow and that high. And for that reason, I sometimes will use a different tool to find the problem areas. Let's delete this instance of re-EQ, and let's take a look at Span by Voxingo. Span is a free spectrum analyzer utility. While you're not able to use this to make any changes to the sound, it's a fantastic tool for listening to specific ranges. I'll play that same portion of music again, and this time I'll hold control and click in the spectrum analyzer. And what I'm listening for is an area that is not only obnoxious in its sound, but also seems to have no musical quality. I'll make sure to engage the plugin, and let's take a listen. There, right around 4.7 to 4.8K, there's some noise that's definitely obnoxious. What I find really interesting about locating these problem frequencies is once you hear it, you can't unhear it. So now that we know that we have a problem area somewhere around 4.7 to 4.8K, we can start to target that with different EQs. I'll disable span, and let's move down the line and take a look at some of these different EQs that I've selected. We'll start with Rhea EQ. And having already gone through this, we can see that I've got band number 4 set at about 4.8k. 
and let's take a listen to the same section of music, turning the EQ on and off to hear the difference. I'll start with it off. While re-EQ doesn't have the tools that I need to pinpoint the frequency easily, it definitely does a great job of removing the unwanted noise. Up next is re-EQ, not to be confused with re eq This has been called the poor man's fab filter by many. If you're not familiar with this fantastic plugin, check the link above. What I like about re-EQ is this gives me the same ability as span to be able to solo a frequency. I can also select any band and configure it for mid-side processing if I'd like. Let's enable the plugin and I'll disable my filter and run the same process again. And if I'd like to hear that frequency isolated, I can hold shift. Up next is another free plugin, TDR Nova. Nova is a fantastic EQ that also will allow me to solo frequencies or make any of my bands dynamic. Let's take a listen. We'll start with this band off. To solo a band in Nova, I can either click the band solo button or press Control shift while hovering over one of my bands. As you can see, the reduction that I've done so far in each of the plugins is very subtle, but you can definitely tell when the filter is turned off. Up next, I've got Tone Booster's Equalizer 4. I don't currently own this plugin, so it's in demo mode but this gives me some of the same features that I like in a few of the other plugins. I'll select the node that I've created to fix the problem, and we can see in the dialog that this also has an audition button. Let's take a listen. I have a few more EQ choices in my list here, I've configured each of these to do approximately the same thing, but no EQ is created truly equal, with the exception of maybe Equal by IK Multimedia. <laughs> so while each of these is doing a similar job, EQs can be either clean and surgical, or they can also impart a bit of character. Let's take a listen to each of these back to back and see if you can spot the differences between each EQ. If one stands out as more musical than the others to you, leave a note in the comments. I'll play these in the context of the song just so you can get a better feel for them. I'll start with these filters turned off, and then engage them one at a time. I don't have an easy way to seamlessly switch between these, so I'll try my best to edit those in post. So again, we'll start with the EQs turned off, and then I'll go to re-EQ and down the list. Let's listen.
Each of those EQs definitely did a great job of removing that harsh frequency. Which one was your favorite? As you can see, it didn't take a whole lot of work to remove the harshness in those guitars, and using an EQ with the ability to solo bands can definitely help to train your ears to hear certain frequencies. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and you can support the channel further by clicking the buy me a coffee, I like coffee, diabetes, Patreon, or super thanks link below. Visit us on Discord and engage with other Reaper users. We'll see you next time.